Hey there and welcome to my channel, Tia Chanel here. If this is your first time here, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be chatting about one of my favorite spiritual things to use in my spiritual practices, and that is Florida water. Now, I talked about this last year in a video that I'm gonna put up here in the cards, but I wanted to go ahead and talk about it. Again, it is a, a new year and I'm pretty sure a lot of you may not have even seen that video so i want to give you all a couple of more ways that you can implement florida water into your spiritual routine so make sure that you check out the video that i did last year because i did share some pretty dope tips in that one all right so our climate has been pretty weird as of late wouldn't you say i think the energy has been really really heavy and one thing that i think is very important to note okay this is the week that kobe bryant passed away along with his daughter and seven other people and the energetic climate has been super low energetically speaking whether you uh, was a fan were a fan or not um, I think that it's undeniable the energy that shifted. There was a shift that took place when that happened. Um, I have my theories, but I'm not going to go into that. But when we are in a climate such as this one, I think that it's super important to stay on top of your spiritual routine. So the first way that I would love to suggest that you all use your Florida water is by cleansing and clearing your space um, that you meditate in. So your sacred space. Anytime you go into your sacred space, whether it is a room, um, it could be a corner inside of a room, uh, wherever it is, it could be your desk, wherever it is that you just sit and meditate um on a regular basis i want you to take your florida water and put it into a spray bottle and just spray everything that is in your spiritual uh in your sacred space to clear the energy all right i think we are less impacted by the the low frequency that is universal when we stay on top of our spiritual practices so it is vitally important that each and every one of you watching have a daily spiritual ritual that you do without fail okay because that's going to ensure that you're not as affected by events in the world um somebody coming in running into the back of your car or your boss yelling at you at work it's not going to affect you as much as long as you keep your energy high by doing your spiritual practice on a daily basis does that make sense so take your florida water put it in a spray bottle i told you um guys about the spray bottle in the last video and just spritz everything and really cleanse the area um you also want to obviously clean cleanse yourself by spritzing yourself with the florida water pouring some into your hands and anointing yourself um in the last video i talked about anointing your florida water so if you want to know how i anoint mine make sure that you check that video out okay so tip number one is to make sure that you cleanse your space your spiritual space um every single day this is not something that people really think to do and just go in and start praying start meditating whatever it is but it is vital because that our spiritual space our sacred space is um when we are there on a regular basis what we are doing is creating a portal if you will okay um where you're letting the holy spirit in where you're letting um your aunt the, the energy of your ancestors in whatever it is that you believe in it becomes a portal 
okay so if you're not cleansing that space on a regular basis guess what could also creep in because energy is energy we are energy god is energy our ancestors we are all energy and we are all connected believe it or not okay so when you're creating this portal you're burning candles that's opening a portal right so you want to make sure that that portal is safe all right so the wrong energies are not entering in all right so this is why it's important that we are cleansing our um sacred spaces on a daily basis all right all right and tip number two i'm just gonna roll with two uh, here in this video but no worries i have a ton of uses for florida water and i will be bringing some more videos um here on spiritual sunday should we call this sacred sacred sunday so what do you guys think that we should call this series of videos should it be sacred sacred sundays spiritual sundays let me know down in the comments um but i will be bringing a few different videos over the, the course of the next several sundays um where we're just going to talk about spirituality okay so let me know what y'all think we should call this series down in the comments also go ahead and take a moment to thumbs up this video if you are enjoying it so far and make sure that you subscribe before leaving okay okay so the second way that we can use our florida water is to we're sticking with that cleansing clearing energy this is what i think florida water is known for this is what i think is really really good for it's really good at just clearing and cleansing the space now let me let me just say this this disclaimer if you don't believe that florida water has any uh any spiritual powers then it's not going to work for you i i think it's incredible uh, because every time i use it i instantly feel a shift in my energy that's just me but if you don't believe that it holds those powers then don't even bother right so anyway back to tip number two um i suggest that you actually cleanse and clear your car now for whatever reason we, the first thing that we think to cleanse the energy from is our homes and yes that is vitally important uh as well as our sacred space as we just talked about but in addition to that we also want to make sure that we are clearing the energy in our vehicles okay uh we want to make sure that we're safe on the roads we want to make sure that our cars aren't aren't you know breaking down on on us in the most inopportune time not that it's ever the right time but um on my way to the office today we were stuck in traffic for like almost an hour and this is a 15 minute drive from home it took us almost an hour uh and that is because a car had stalled right in the middle of the freaking highway um <laughs> right so i i really do believe that clearing the space and clearing the energy in our cars is important we want to be protected um you know leaving our homes and getting back to our homes we always want to make sure that we get back home safely so make sure that you are using your florida water uh what i personally do is i pour some onto a towel so uh cleaning out your vehicle on the weekends whatever it is that you clean out your vehicle um just take some and pour it as you are cleaning uh dusting off your dashboard your steering you know the the wipeable spaces in our vehicles pour some of this onto a, a rag and cleanse your car that way now if you're not uh trusting that this isn't going to discolor i've never had any issues whatsoever um but if you believe that this will discolor your interior then don't do that just use that handy dandy spray bottle and just spritz um and also pray um in your car i have this prayer that i pray every single time i get into my car and let's see if i can remember so you know when we put on the spot like this um i may not even remember but um i say uh dear infinite spirit uh please protect us um what is the prayer uh, please protect us while we are on the road today. I'm buying all traffic accidents, mechanical fares, failures, tire flats, and traffic tickets in the name of the Most High. Um, 
and so it is right something like that i think i got it primarily right but i always say the same prayer every time i get into the car and then when we get out of the car when we're back home i always you know give gratitude and thanks that we made it home safely so Take your Florida water and cleanse out your car. You can also do the same thing with um, sage. Um, I sage my car all the time. The only thing about sage in your car is uh, it's such a small space that the the smoke is intensified and, and concentrated. <laughs> so it's going to um, be in your clothing and if you, you know, I personally you think sage low key smells like weed and so I don't ever want to is my wig shifting I feel like it's a little okay I don't ever want to um you know be in a public space and smell like and people assume that I'm smoking weed like it's just I don't really care what people think about me, but that's one thing that I don't want people assuming I'm doing and judging me and all that. So, um, when you sage your car, if you decide to sage your car, just make sure that you do it um, on a day where you have some time, where you don't have to get into your car right away because it, it will permeate your clothing, okay? So, I hope that these two tips helped you guys. Um, I hope that you are inspired to go out and get you some Florida water. Let me let you know where you can get it from. I'm going to put a link down below. Um, I just purchased mine on Amazon, like in bulk. I have, well, I think, no, I have three bottles left total um, because I use this stuff all the time. I use it in many different ways. Um, so make sure, again, that you check out that video. I'm going to put it up here. Uh, but I'm going to link it down below just in case you're not able to find it in your area. Uh, Walmart carries it. I have purchased it there before. I've been told that um, some Family Dollars carry it. Walgreens carries it. Um, any stores that are in like the Hispanic communities, they're going to have it as well. I purchased, them, purchased it from all of those different places. But I just find that it's cheaper typically to get on Amazon. You, I get like six at a time. And that's just what makes sense to me because I go through it so quickly. So anyway, guys, I hope this is I hope that this video helped. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe before you leave. And if you use Florida Water on a on a regular basis, go ahead and start the chat down below and let us know how you use it so that uh we can help someone else. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. 